Hello. So today we're playing with artificial life. The shiny colors you see here is what happens when you take Conway's game of life, add codominant genetics, and neglect to erase empty cells, leaving behind pretty patterns. Each cell contains three genes, red, green, and blue. These genes are combined to determine what color a cell is. In Conway's game of life, a new cell is born when three and only three of its adjacent cells are occupied. In our version, these three cells are treated as the parents of the new cell. To determine what red gene the new cell will be born with, we simply use the average of the red genes of the three parents. By repeating this process for green and blue, we can determine the color of the new cell. Our goal for this is to quickly generate genetic-based vegetation for our little virtual forest floor. So here's the same thing with a few modifications. In this version, the red and blue genes are very limited, leaving most of the individual character up to the green gene. We are also painting each cell at multiple resolutions, picking random pixels to paint on each of these resolution layers. This trick allows us to procedurally generate a higher resolution and more organic looking image without processing a larger number of game cells. Under all of this detail, the same low resolution game is playing out just as before. To really make these plants useful, we needed a way to tie them to the environment. We did this by adding red, green, and blue traits to the environment. These traits are constantly changing. You can see them here, pulsing evenly from color to color. The environment traits give us a reference point from which to score each of the plant cells. With this information, we can determine which cells are currently best suited to absorb energy from the environment. Here you can see small white dots. You can think of these as tiny flowers, which the plant cells only grow when they are doing well. Now that we have built up a dynamic ecosystem, complete with natural selection and scarcity of resources, it's time to get to the point. Here are our little aphids. These virtual critters live to gobble up the tiny white flowers. Each one they consume gives them a little energy. Moving costs them energy, so if there's no food near them, they stand very still to conserve go juice. But when the sun comes out, they eat everything in sight, leaving behind a trail of dead plant cells. When one of these little guys has had their fill, they pause for a moment, releasing magic aphid honeydew. But we'll leave that for another episode.